Hi, Cindy. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Anna. I'm glad to be here. So, Mom, I understand you have a pretty impressive claim to fame. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, one time back in, um, it would have been the end of 1982, I was on the game show called Family Feud, whose host was Richard Dawson, whose other claim to fame would have been Hogan's Heroes. He was on that show. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So how'd you get the opportunity to be in the show? Well, my little brother Dennis, who at the time was probably only about seven years old, would watch Family Feud every day. And one time after he watched the show, he wrote down the phone number and he pested your Nana every night for in like a week. And finally she was so uh, worn down from him asking her that she called uh, since he had found out they were going to be auditions in our town of San Diego. So sure enough, when she called, they, they gave her an appointment time. And so then that night at dinner, she was just sort of laughing about it to all of us. And, but everybody said, sure, we'll do it. And so we did, we went down and there was a huge amount of people and, uh, we did our audition, not thinking much of it. But then we were selected as one of the finalists, and then we moved on to another audition on a different date, and at that one, we were chosen from that group to move on and um, actually be on the show. So that's crazy. So they don't just choose random people. You have to actually audition as an entire family. Yes. Was yeah. that hard with no, like experience with auditioning for any of you? I don't know if any of you did have experience. Nobody had auditioning experience, but of course your crazy Uncle Joe sort of was, um, uh, they enjoyed his sense of humor, and mm -hmm. I think they liked the way the family interacted together, mm -hmm. and uh, for I'm not really sure what they were looking for, but they chose us. That's so cool. So where was the ho the show held? Did you have to travel at all? Or? Yes, we we lived in San Diego, California, and we had to travel to L.A. Uh, for the taping of the show. I don't know. Was that maybe Hollywood area or some mm -hmm. somewhere where they were taping, taping the show? Mm -hmm. So how long were you there? We were there a whole day, and I remember them prepping the audience because the audience was made up of all of those. Uh, they would tape many uh, episodes in one day. Mm -hmm. So all of the people that were going to be in all the different episodes that day were the audience. And um, it, I remember thinking, wow, that stage is much smaller than it looks on TV. It just seemed mm -hmm. like such a tiny um, stage. So how would you feel like when you got up or leading up to it or being on the stage? Like, was it kind of crazy? Like, okay, I'm on TV now. Like, what do I do? Or was it kind of just like... You know, yeah, not really I, I think I was deal. nervous. I'm definitely not someone that likes to be in the spotlight. So, uh, as it turns out, also, it uh, after all this came to be, Dennis, who was seven years old, was not even allowed to come with us. Oh. Uh, as it turned out, you had to be 12 or up just to be in the studio, and then you had to be even older just to be up on the stage. So, it was. Uh, Nana and Grandpa, myself, Uncle Joe, and Aunt Bonnie. Aunt Bonnie being 15 at the time, so she was the youngest in our group. Oh. So we felt poor Uncle Dennis had to be at his aunt's house watching us, uh, you know. Oh, well, that's actually kind well, of Well, no, I, I don't think he even got to watch it because at that time, you know, it didn't air for a few months until after uh, we were on the show. Oh, poor Uncle Dennis. Mm -hmm. Who was the family you were going against? Oh, they were a very nice family. They, I think their last name was Britt. And um, it was a, mo a, a mom and her four sons, I believe. And um, they were a lot of fun. I think they were maybe from Philadelphia or something. That's cool. So they usually have families from like all over the nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So generally on Family Feud, the host is given a gift. So what did you give Richard Dawson, and do you remember what the other team brought him? Yes, I remember uh, your grandpa at the time was an active duty Navy officer, and he brought him a hat uh, that had the logo of his ship, the USS Sperry, at the time. 
And the other family, uh, the, the, the sons, what, you know, they were grown men, but they were, they had an advertising agency, I think, no, a modeling. They were, they had a modeling agency. And so young women, you know, a lot of young women were, uh, you know, their, uh, worked at, well, not client, but, you know, worked at their modeling agency Mm -hmm. and they, they made a poster where they had kissed, uh, since Richard Dawson couldn't you know, couldn't be there to greet them. They were greeting him with a bunch of, it was a poster with all kinds of lipstick kisses all over it. Uh, So speaking of kissing, um, Richard Dawson, the original famed host of the show, has been credited as the kissing host. So do you personally think that he lived up to that title? Yes, and uh, yes, I'm embarrassed to say uh, that, and I'm not proud of it, but I did kiss him too. Uh Uh-huh, okay. (laughs) I'm not going to ask where. Um, What kind of questions were you asked on the show? Well, many types of questions, but one that, um, some that I remember as being comical, uh, one of the questions they asked was, uh, what's your favorite fruit flavor shampoo? And the reason it was comical is because Grandpa, as you know, is bald. Mm -hmm. And so when he was asked that question, it definitely stumped him. He didn't even know that shampoos came in fruit flavors. Really? (laughs) That's really funny. So was the show filmed in one take or was it a lot of different takes? Like would someone yell cut? No, one take. One take? Mm -hmm. So if there was a mistake, you just had to go with it? Yeah, just had to roll with it. Oh, okay. So did you have like anyone dressing you or prepping you or did you do makeup, hair, dressing all by yourself? No, no, they didn't do any of that. Okay, I thought so. Mm -hmm. So big question is, did you win? Yes, we did win. My dad and I, at the at the very last round, we were chosen from the family to uh, do that fi- the final questioning, and we won right on the money. I think you had to get maybe 40 points exactly or whatever the point mm-hmm. total is. We got it exactly with the question, um, what's your, what is your, or the most dangerous insect? And um, um, I, my dad chose the beetle, which didn't get any votes. But then I came after that, and I chose spider, which happened to be the number one really? uh, choice. Yeah. So you basically brought it all home. You but won the you know show. what? A spider isn't even an insect. But anyway, well, we have a lot of pass. You won. It's passed. <laughs> I mean, you already <laughs> you were on TV, so it passed. That's so yeah. great. Well, thank you so much for joining me. That was really nice and really fun. I love talking with you about your experience. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll watch it together later. Okay.